Good morning, good afternoon, good night, guys. What is up? We are in Disney's Hollywood Studios going to Galaxy's Edge because the Darksaber has arrived here at Batu, the Legacy Lightsaber. You can now buy it. I don't know how everyone else knew about it, but I had no idea. So by the time I heard about it, I had to come here late, and then there was like a virtual queue, and I've been waiting all day. There was about 220 people in front of me. So now I'm here with only 30 minutes left of the park being open because I at least want to go check it out and showcase it to you. I want to give you my opinion on it, on it and like I'm going to let you know if you should buy it for yourself or not. The Dark Saber, it, you know, there's a huge lore behind it, but most of you probably know it from The Mandalorian, and it's sick, and it's different. It's a Dark Saber because it's literally black. So I'm excited to check it out. If you enjoyed this little tiny video, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. I love bringing you Disney updates and Star Wars updates. I do have my Rey Legacy lightsaber, top right corner if you want to check out that review. I'm going to turn it on at nighttime, see how much different it looks outdoors. Maybe it'll look a little more yellow, but regardless, let's get this vlog started. Wait one second, this is so weird. Right when I was done recording, I actually got a text message from Doc Ondars telling that my spot is ready. So we're going to head over to Galaxy's Edge right now and check out the Darksaber. You know, I must say, coming to Hollywood Studios later in the evening when the sun is setting is so nice. I can't wait until they extend park hours, so maybe Hollywood Studios closes at 9. It closes at 8, and the unfortunate thing is that it gets dark at 8. So you really have to wait until the last second of Hollywood Studios to get any cool like night pictures or lightsaber pictures. But anyway, we're moving. We have about 30 minutes of the park being open. Maybe we can go on a ride after, depending on how quick we see the Darksaber. Come on. Gotta go. Let's go. That's Jojo. Hello, what's up? We've seen you on YouTube. Hey, I appreciate it. Interestingly enough, as I'm walking into Galaxy's Edge, there's actually still a pretty big line for Rise of the Resistance of only 30 minutes left of the park. Uh, the ride must have gone down once or twice today, because I, I, I mean, I'm not here usually this late, but I swear I'm not used to seeing that line this long at this time. Usually they get through all the groups at this point. But it happens, so if you're ever planning your vacation and coming to Galaxy's Edge, be ready. You might actually have to wait a little bit, even if it's at the end of the day. Here we are at Doc Ondar's. They must have been so busy today. I heard people were buying the dark sabers like crazy. You can buy up to 10 lightsabers, so there's people who really like go crazy and buy 10 and then either resell them or collect them, but it's kind of wild. I am now inside Doc Ondar's. Now, a little fun fact. If you know what specific lightsaber you want, this time it's the dark saber, which that cast member is actually holding in her hands, you can tell the cast member, and sometimes they let you go straight to the register to purchase it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna skip looking at them, because we already know what we want. With tax, the total is gonna be $212.99. Okay, everyone, here it is, the dark saber. This thing was crazy to get today. The line was out the door the whole day. I, it literally took me the whole day. Like, it's 7.45. The park's about to close. Now this case is actually different. As you see, there's no tape, there's no clamp, there's actually a magnet right here. So hey, let's go ahead and just open this up. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Whoa! Let me go catch that real quick. This is the base for the, that's the stand. The stand. This is the actual hilt. And that's part of the stand as well, correct? Yep. The glass? Okay, cool. And that paper that flew away said that the saber is actually under here. So let's slowly take this out. I think it's funny that we're actually here in Galaxy's Edge doing this review. Let's take this out. Ooh, this is sleek. So shiny. There's the belt clip right there. Wow. Oh my gosh, everyone. This thing is glistening and it's pretty light. This thing feels insane. Wow, okay, so that's the hilt. The hilt alone is pretty detailed. Amazing, love that. Let's look at the actual saber. Okay, so the saber is under the hilt. Wow, look at that. All right, let's take this thing out. Here is the actual saber. I feel like this is so powerful, it's very thin. Look at this thing, it's glistening, it's shining. I love every moment of this. Okay, obviously we have to put this together now. Wow, I feel like a ninja. Now there is a blade plug right here just in case you want to protect the inside. All you do is click this little button right here, boop, and then you can just gently pull it out. And now the blade is ready to go inside. You just slide it in, it makes the same sound as you connect it. There you go. And the activation switch is right here. Let's turn this on so you can hear it. Now 
you see it emits a white light. Now let me let me turn it off. And here we go, turning it on again. That ignition sound is insane. Let's play that one more time for you. And let's turn that on. Wow. There's a lot of things going on with this. There's a light right here. There's the lights right here. This sound is very unique. Obviously, no other legacy lightsaber has it. So unfortunately, it's not dark enough yet, but I found a nice little corner here just to really show you the, the brightness difference. Look at that, guys. How crazy. This is insane. Oh my god, I think this is the thumbnail right here. I'm gonna turn it off. All right, now there's not too much sound here, so let me turn this on again so you can listen to it one more time. You hear those sounds? Now there's not really a contact on it. Not really, it's more of just making its own sounds. Still super cool though. Look at this guys. Oh my god. One more time just to show you guys so you can hear the ignition one more time. I'm even, just to make sure you guys hear it properly, I'm going to put it right over my speaker so you can hear it. I don't even know how, how do you pose with a dark saber? Like this is not a, this is not a light, how do you pose with this thing? I don't even know. It's a dark saber. Wow. Just for your information, guys, Ray's lightsaber literally came out like last week. So this is only a week old and they already have a new legacy lightsaber. They seem to be dropping stuff on Mondays. Here's Ray's lightsaber turning it on real quick again. Look at that. It looks a lot better outside. Look at this. All right, well, let me show you a comparison of the legacy lightsaber Ray and the dark saber. Here it is, light and dark. We have, now as you see, uh, Ray's is still a little bit bigger. Let me give you a better example. Ray's is still bigger. Um, this feels like a katana. This feels like a lightsaber. This feels like an actual katana. This thing has some weight to it, but it's like a sleek weight. You can truly feel where it's centered, which is right here. Compared to Ray's, which is the whole thing just feels heavier. But together, both of these are sick. I mean, I don't know who you want to talk to, but it better not be me. Hiya! This is sick. This is so sick. Oh my god. Question is, which one do I like more? Uh, they're both really, really good. Let me know in the comments down below which one you like more. This dark saber I might get a little uh, accustomed to, to say the least. This thing is dope. But Ray's is sick as well. I, I'm going crazy, guys. I'm going crazy, but in a good way. For all of my lightsaber, like, athletes out there. Um, you can still, for example, do an obi Andy, but the top weight's definitely harder, so it's harder to spin this around. But you can definitely do it. I'm not gonna go hard because I actually hurt my wrist last week, but you can pull it off. It's definitely a different weight compared to a lightsaber, especially a legacy lightsaber. Okay, everyone, it's been a fun, quick, short day here in Galaxy's Edge, but we got the dark saber. Overall, do I recommend this? Some people had their, like, you know, if ands or buts about it, but I really like it. I like the weight to it. It's not too heavy. Again, it doesn't feel like a lightsaber though. It's very sleek. It, it's like almost aerodynamic. It does feel like more of like a katana styled weapon. I'm not used to wielding this thing. I'm just like, what's going on? But it's dope. If you're a fan of the Mandalorian, if you're a fan of the Darksaber, anything, get this. It is so, 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 so awesome. I love the lighting. Let's do it one more time. Now it's actually starting to get dark out. Let's turn this on one more time for all of you to look at it. Here we go. Ready, steady, sick. Amazing. If you guys enjoyed this lightsaber review, please let me know down below. I will be covering as many as I can as they keep creating them. If you enjoyed, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. And remember, every day is a blessed day to be alive. I give this lightsaber a 8 out of 10. Uh, the sound is there. The lighting is there. It's a pretty solid legacy lightsaber. The only reason why it doesn't get like a 9 or 10 out of 10 because it's not a lightsaber, it's a dark saber. That's my only thing. But it's sick, and I can't wait to turn this on at nighttime. All right, guys, thank you so much. Even, okay, sorry, I keep, keep going, but look at this. Even it's daylight out, and you can still clearly see this white light. 
which is powerful. That's good to see. So anyway, okay, I'm done rambling. Check it out. I recommend you get it for yourselves when you're here. Thank you guys so much. Peace.